unknown transforming robot. It's probably shit, but if I just bet I quit, it really won't matter. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Right here, back from our Transformer Transformation Review thingy. Wearing another one of my bespoke uh, reviewing t-shirts. Uh, gifted to me by Xavier, not Javier. I feel like a fool now. Rave1x. Xavier. That's kind of cooler, almost. Xavier. Professor X. Oh, well, anyway. But, um... And well done him for getting this one, which matches my eyes. Adam had a great idea. Uh, sorry, in my last video I was talking about Skylinx, wasn't I? And who would make a good one? This is a Glasgow philosopher, excuse me. I know him as Adam. Uh, a couple of prizes for you at Auto Assembly this year, young man. And um, he made... I mean, I feel like such a fool now. I mean, this... Should be repainted as Skylinx, shouldn't it? It really, absolutely, positively should. You can imagine it so very well. Um, the legs would be blue and red, maybe there, and uh, blue and red arms. And I think, I think it would look awesome because you're almost there. And we would have to get rid of these. What color would these have to be? I'm looking at my Skylinx up there. These would have to be red. Or blue, red or blue, blue. Let probably should stick with blue. Get rid of that kind of, uh, kind of sickly green color. I love this ball, but yes, he would make an absolutely fucking awesome Skylink. Now Nick Hardy's watching this and he's going, hmm, because he's a man who likes to ruin a good bot by painting it. I tell you what, he doesn't ruin it at all. But he just in his latest vid, Nick, don't do it. Jesus man, this is Nick Hardy, Hardy, Hardy. Talking about taking his TM2 megs, his only TM2 megs, his only mold of that and repainting it. I don't think that's a good idea. Don't do it, Nick. I'll try and find you one. Do not do that, right? Okay. You need to have one of those at least on standby. Rhinox. So a few other <clears throat> rhino farmers. Now, <laughs> the, the, the last time I, I claimed to have all the, the, the bull farmers, that's interesting, though. yes. Went from bull farmers to rhino farmers. I don't know, these videos seem to be slightly similar. Um, I, I had missed, of course, um, I had missed, of course, Rampage and Nocturo, if you can call him. He doesn't really count, but he does. He's part bull and part bad. Isn't that lovely? Part bull, part bad. Only in Transformers and or horror movies. But here we have Headstrong, of course, from, uh, the, from one of the Predacons, one of the Generation 1 Predacons. Heavy, heavy thing. Do not drop it on the head of any old ladies because it's going to it's going to bring her right down. She's going to fall to the floor because there's, oh, there's there's a lot of metal here. And he's a nice... I tell you what, to transform this guy, there's no... It's not rocket surgery at all. Look at this shit here. Oh, look at that. Just makes him look silly all of a sudden. I mean, that's pretty cool. Looks good. No, he looks silly. Um, here's another funky thing. This is so cool. They go and think that's so cool. Don't know why I like that so much. And what I only noticed is he's got a little stay at the back so he doesn't fall over because, believe me, he does like to fall over, this chap. And then you take out his little arms. He is heavy, I tell you what, this guy. But he's got this weeny little head. He's a dinky little head, bless him. Aww. I do have pretty king, yes I do. And then we have a little backstop here. Or back wipe, as I like to call him. I really want a mini con called Backwipe. If I was a mini con, it would be a. Yeah, I'd be called Backwipe. What would I transform into? It'd probably be a little Lou, a little tiny Lou. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Backstop. This is the universe version of the Cybertron, the initial Cybertron. So, it is a Cybertron release and a universe relief. Relief? Universe release. And now he's got a Generations release. You can see that this looks for all the world like the, the, the Cybertron release. And he gets a lot of bad press, this guy. But he's a, he's a very, very nice little rhino. You can see his hand. Looks like he's kind of scratching his own chin, you know, which is kind of cute. And um, the transformation is, you know, it's very, very simple. Uh, he was from the Jungle Planet. He was from the Jungle Planet. See, this is me. A little bit of BG, not enough to do, you know him. The more I try to like BG background and bios and everything, the, 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 the less I do, unfortunately. So I've just decided to stop stop trying to like it so much and hopefully that will work. Uh, is that what he, is that what he turned? Yeah, that's him. Oh, bless. Oh, dear. Look at him. Can only walk sideways, poor thing. 
Never gone forward or backwards in his life. And then before I get on the Rhinox, I think there's a there's a Pretenders too, but I don't bother about them because they're shite. And I've got this little chap here. Looks a bit like Ramhorn, but he's too big for Ramhorn because he's a knockoff. He's so cute. This is um uh, a knockoff Ramhorn I picked up in a garage on the way back from a show once. And he's just a nice little thing. Anyway, uh, Rhinox. Now, the thing about Rhinox and the thing about a lot of Beast Wars toys I find is that it's fine to have them, but you only really have them when you have them complete. Even things like missiles and stuff. I know I was about missiles. But um, when I love a range, like, you know, Universe and, and you know, my, my Beast Wars especially, it's all that with Generation 1, I can live without certain weapons or certain missiles. It's, it's kind of okay. I do love Generation 1, but I have all... Beast Wars now. I have all the Beast Wars molds. I still have a couple of things to get to complete Beast Wars. There are glaring omissions like Scorponok. But I have Sandstorm, so I've got all the molds. But I do want also all the missiles and weapons from Beast Wars. So I had a Rhinox. But it was missing all this shit. And while I wasn't at that time, when I wasn't batshit crazy about Beast Wars, it was fine that I didn't have any of his, of his accessories. But a year or so ago, maybe two years ago, it started to annoy me. Until very recently, I just felt bad for not having all the funky bits that Rhinox did. So, I got him complete. And that's the way I am about the line that I love. I'll probably be like that for every other freaking line and God help me, I'm going to need a box full of missiles and stuff like that because you just can't keep your missiles with your butts. But you do need your Beast War stuff complete. Now, <clears throat> this is, of course, Rhinox from, you know, the original Beast Wars Deluxe Rhinox. Uh, he came in a little two-pack. This one didn't, but he did come in a little two-pack with uh, Shadow Panther. And this also is a very, very nice little bot dev. I'm just trying to show you all kinds of little funky things. This is lovely. You have Cheetor and you have... Tigra, listen to me. Jeez. Tigertron, and then you have Shadow Panther. Is there another iteration of that? There might be a Telemoka one or something like that. I don't know. This is Rhinox. And what's interesting about this Rhino, he's got, he's got sharp teeth, because he's he likes a burger now and again. I don't know. But a little bit of, please read, not enough to do any harm. A little bit of background, a little bit of bio, not enough to do any harm. Rhinox maximal defense. The ground shakes with a terrible thunder as jungle trees snap like twigs. The noise draws closer and a cloud of dust endured. A herd of stampeding elephants? Is it a bird? Is it a play? No, it's Rhinox defending his territory from Predacon attackers. <laughs> Courageous and cunning, he never backed down from battle nor been injured in any way. Not even double barred laser cans can cut through his triple thick steel plated skin. If he comes your way, run for cover fast. Right, that's that out of the way. Now, on to the good shit, ladies and gentlemen. On to the good stuff. He is a nice bit of plastic. Shell former, yeah. You know what to say. It's going to happen inevitably. Um, I was missing his tail. This, this tiny little thing is this tail, but it becomes this kind of scimitar weapon. And he's got lots of shit going on inside in separate little bits. Now, that is, in itself, that's fine. There isn't a lot of movement. He will do that. Ha, 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 ha. It's funny, look. Oh, God. It's, it's, oof. A little creepy. So, we'll go ahead and transform him. You just kind of loosen all these panels, and there, very quickly, that little thing will come out. Now, there was an interesting thing I read in TF Wiki that um, the Takara release, the original Takara of, of, of this release, was covered in a thick grey paint. <laughs> it's covered in a thick grey paint that gradually. Came off to reveal a tan. What this this original tan coloured rhinox? So they put this. Was it some kind of fragile, brittle paint? So it was a, originally a rhino colour, and through playing, it, all the shit came off and revealed this. I mean that's kind of funky, but really weird too at the same time. But uh, there you go. Um, little feet. His feet are a little weak. You get these odd little black toes. Now I think we have to rotate a little bit of rotation there. Now, the good thing, the funky thing about this, he's got lots of stuff. You see this black shit going on inside? You've got to take these off. Now, you don't have to take them off now. You can leave them in. But trust me, you'll want to take them off. Very, very nice. 
And when you open up his back there, you see this green spinny disc thing. You take off the green spinny disc thing. You don't have to, but I'd recommend it at this stage. All these can be housed fine. And then before we go carry on, you open that up and you've got this big old green thing and you take that out. This, yeah, love this kind of stuff. Absolutely love this kind of stuff. Then we just continue with the transformation. Now he is very, very guilty of, uh, very guilty. Uh, uh, he suffers massively with, with, with kibble. He really does. Um, it's not his own fault, really, bless him, but he was born that way. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Um, <clears throat> you know the iron hide, yes you do, from, uh, not Mag yes, from Magna Boss. You know the elephant, you know the big grey elephant that is iron hide, apparently. And it's super deformed. Right? It's, you know, it's, it's, it's just a mess of stuff, an absolute mess of stuff. This guy is, is one step away from that. He's got, you know, he's got an awful lot of just kind of cloaky stuff going on at the back, and so which is really quite, quite disappointing. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's a little disappointing. But the most disappointing thing for me is exactly what do you do with these beast legs? There isn't an awful lot you can do that to to make it look in any way convincing. You can kind of get them out of the way, but not especially madly. I mean, look at his face. He's See, he's so fugly, this guy. And of course, this isn't how we display him at all. We open up his battle mask. And then we reveal the proper Rhinox head underneath. That's the Rhinox we know and love. He has one of those violent poo faces. Uh, I, that's, that's what I call him. And it just looks like he really needs to go. You know what I mean? And um, <clears throat> see that little detail at the side there? I want to take a little bit of silver paint or gold paint and... Have a little time with that, I think it would be great. Now you can put his tail back in his hand, and of course it's a scimitar type weapon -ish. Now I'll come back to him presently. First of all, I'm going to take all this stuff. See, you take all this stuff and you can put it together. This is, what is it this called? The, uh, now there is a fan name for this. I've got to get what the fan name is. It's, it's quite cool, it's, it's very ordinary. Double barrel laser cannon of doom. Let me see if I can get that. I'm going to have to have a little look on TF Wiki now. Um, he's got this weapon that you just, you, you really have to put it together. And, uh, I really like that. I like the fact that he come, that it comes separated all throughout his body and you have to put it together. I mean, it comes in four bits and, uh, it's only when you have all those four bits that you can build it. And it's only then will your Rhinox feel complete. Trust me. Now let me see if I can find the, uh, it's called Chain Guns of Doom. There you go, I find that rather nicely. So I've added the little, you know, rotary green section here. And now these, these bits, and you really must have these. Your Rhinox is really, really lacking without it. This is what you build for Rhinox. See the little slide there? It's great. <laughs> I love Transformers. Sorry about that. And then um, once this little funky ass thing is built, you have got to have, this is this is four bits of a weapon. And it, then it goes into his hand. And you, of course you can do that lovely little action. It's only then, ladies and gentlemen, is your Rhinox complete. And all this stuff takes the bad look off him there. Oh, it's a mess there, but he's lovely. He really is lovely. And of course, we have the Transmel too, but before we get on to that, Rhinox was reformatted, wasn't he? For Beast Machines. Into what? This guy. Fucking hell. Amazing. And next, and certainly not last or least, or first, or the first shall be last, and the last shall be first, and what am I talking about? The um, Transmel 2 Rhinox. Now, the reason it looks a little funny. <laughs> Sorry about that. The reason he looks a little odd is because because he's got four knees, and uh, any animal that has four knees is is going to look a little strange because obviously his legs shouldn't bend like that. And I mean, it it makes him it it does look extremely odd. And the fact that his front legs are so much longer than his back legs, but it's fine. It's fine. He has a he has one of those 
transport modes and I'm going to show you this transport mode because it's just absolutely fantastic you fold away his little legs <laughs> Fucking hell. and you take this shit down like that now yeah uh, <laughs> exactly <laughs> careful I'm going to start again for exactly when would this uh this his, his, his ski boots and his and his this is kind of a snow cap mode when would this actually be of, of an advantage to him over his four big strong legs? I don't know. But this is a nice bot all the same. Uh, what I like about this guy is, uh, well, all kinds of things. He's a transformer that is a rhino. But he looks he looks like a Generation 1 Masters of the Universe figure whenever he's transformed. He's got this kind of real mo characterful muscle guy thing going on. Now, you won't break this, hopefully. This goes all the way back like that. Oh Christ. Well, I might break it actually, I haven't said that. Let me see. Ah yes, we're gonna open up this bad boy like that. He is absolutely fantastic. Uh, all Transmetal 2s are, even with their dodgy, there's his weapon. Even with their dodgy transport mode. Um, the, of course, the, the epitome of which is, like that little funky little thing here, you don't see something like this often. Rampage, where I will not be doing this evening. I am happy to have him. Uh, very happy to have him. That's one, but <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, if I did not have it, and I was a Beast Wars fan, or even just a kind of your general Transformers fan, I would do my darndest to get right now. So just beware, all you Transformers fans. You are not complete unless you have a Transmetal 2 Rampage. And that is actually a fact, so there you go. Sorry, I'm just preaching again. No, look at this funky guy. He's got one of his faces. It's so cool. There's a, there's a, there is a lot of transformation here. It's something that looks like it should be fairly simple, fairly rudimentary, but uh, there is a quite a bit of transformation to doing it, and that's that's what I like about this guy. He's got one of those funky clip hip things that I like. Um, yes, there there is a lot of transformation that you wouldn't normally expect in a deluxe size figure. Uh, but it's it's funky enough to kind of keep you on your toes. He, there is again a bit of a kibble, but he wouldn't be Rhinox without a, without a nice decent bit of kibble there. Um, funky looking thing. Here we have his knees in the proper place. Ah yes, that's much better. Now let me just before I get onto his face, there there's his back kibble, right? So uh, yeah, it is back here. Now, ideally, you would want to bring. You feel you would want to bring these guys forward, but they're just not going to come forward. I'm going to take his weapon, and I like the fact that it's one of those little reverse. You hold it from the bottom. Now look at this guy. He does look like a Generation One action uh, uh, Masters Universe figure. It reminds me very much. Look at his face, like a Ram Man or something like that. You open this chap up here to reveal his maximal spark crystal, not a spark crystal, but his maximal rub sign. And that is always a good thing. Very, very nice, but I'm very pleased to at last complete my Rhinox collection. I got one of these guys, and um, it wasn't complete. He was missing this weapon, and I got one of these guys, and he was missing all his weapons, and I just didn't feel it right. So since then, I have a complete one of these and a complete one of these guys. And they're, now they are worth talking about. It's only now that they are worth showing you. They are very, very nice. And they are no longer on my auto assembly list for half them. Good night. Now that's what I call a robot in the sky. Thank you very much. <laughs>